Wind and rain. You two, uh, I'll have more detail in the next half hour. John, thanks very much. Wind and rain. Mm, Not quite a wet apt. Christmas, maybe a wet Christmas. But a wet, it's definitely always wet, wet, isn't it? Do. Talking about the wind, we're talking about a British female daredevil who's become the fastest woman on a surfboard. Zara Davis set a new windsurfing world speed record after reaching 53 miles per hour in the deserts of southern Africa. She travelled to Namibia for the attempt where she windsurfed along a narrow channel of water. Have a look at her in action. And Zara is here with us this morning. Zara, that looks absolutely incredible. Congratulations, first of all. Were you confident you were going to break the record? Yeah, pretty confident, I think. The, um, we'd been out to Namibia in 2010 and, and tested the area for the wind, um, but the canal was something new, and I, I think you know, it, it was well within my reach. And was it... Obviously, it's, it looks dangerous, and clearly it was dangerous. I mean, were you worried when you did the attempt, or were you confident? Or? Yeah, I think I, we were quite concerned, um, particularly about the stopping part. Um, it's not too bad on the canal, although it, it looks very narrow, but um, uh, there wasn't a lot of room to stop in. So, and travelling at sort of 25 metres a second, you've got about 80 metres to stop in. If you think about it for a little while, you run out of room. Better not to think. Yeah, I better think. not Just to think. Just do. Yeah. Why there? Uh, because it's windy. You've got a really hot big desert, um, really cold southern ocean, and that creates uh, wind. So. I know you had quite a nasty accident just a few weeks ago. How are you recovering? And yeah. is this just part and parcel of the sport? It's not part and parcel of the general sport, I think. wouldn't want to put people off. Um, I think, you know, I'm at the extreme end. So, um, yeah, I did have a couple of injuries. I managed to cut my head and my leg. Um, but I think, you know, actually, windsurfing's pretty safe. You don't see many injuries. Probably at the top end of speed sailing, you see a few more. When it comes to kind of preparing for something like this, obviously, you went to Namibia, but can, how much can you prepare for that in this country? Actually, pretty well. Um, not far from here. Um, West <laughs> it's, not, it's not that windy. <laughs> West Kirby Marine Lake um, is absolutely a fantastic and actually is really good for training for this particular canal because we had a, a start area and then a, an almost 90 degree bend and at West Kirby Marine Lake you've got exactly that you can start you go off and you you sail within a oh, couple of feet of the, of the wall um, and so yeah West Kirby's great for training. And do you want to inspire other people to do this sport is that your kind of your hope? Yeah I hope so um, I think you know windsurfing is a minority sport anyway women's windsurfing even smaller um, uh, it's great it's good fun um, and uh, it's great for fitness uh, whole body fitness so you mm. think about sort of Pilates and keeping fit windsurfing even better you're using every muscle in the body using your brain really thinking and um, you know girls can be just as good as the boys. You sound as if you're creeping into your day job. Yeah, I am <laughs> creeping into my day job. <laughs> Which is yes. an osteopath. <laughs> yeah, I run Walnut Grove Clinic in Porter's Head, and um, uh, I've been an osteopath for 20 years now, so uh, I like to try and sort of mix the two, and, and end up mixing the two, because whenever I'm on tour with the windsurfing, I end up treating people. How do you keep the balance, then? Because you're obviously working, and perhaps you could have gone into this professionally? Yes, I might have been able to go in professionally. Uh, I think you've done a piece all week on women in sport. It's not easy to get enough money to, to survive. Um, but after this, after this world record attempt, <laughs> no, no? I don't think it will make much difference. Really? Um, I'm not young, um, and uh, you know, being in, you know in my late forties, um, it's quite difficult to get enough sponsorship to to you know to survive, uh, pay the mortgage. Um, so actually, it's quite nice to have a mix as well. I think so. It's quite quite nice to have two jobs. And what challenges remain for you now? Uh, the men have done 50 knots, um, and it would be good to be the first What's one. What's 50, 50 knots, knots in normal miles per hour? How uh, can uh, I visualise that? Well, my record's 45.85, which is 53 miles per hour, so it's sort of creeping up towards, towards 60, 60 yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. How does it feel? Uh, when, when you're going that fast? When you're travelling quickly on water, it's amazingly fast. It feels for anybody that's been in a speedboat or perhaps been in a jet ski on holiday, you feel like you're going so much quicker than, uh, than when you're travelling in a car. So it probably feels more like 100 mile an hour in a car. It's yeah. amazing. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks for coming brilliant. in and talking to me. Cheers.